All right, welcome to my Apollo skin gameplay and review. So I had a lot of requests for this one, so I'm anxious to see what this guy looks like in game. So first of all, his bundle is 2000 V bucks, which is a pretty fair price. You get the skin, you get the Lego version, back bling, pickaxe and wrap. That's not too bad for 2000 V bucks. I'd say that's okay. Where most people are upset is that sold separately, he's 1800. Now he also does come with a pickaxe. So the only thing you're missing here is the wrap. And a lot of people were quick to point out that most skins that used to come with a pickaxe were about 1600 V bucks. So this one's a little more expensive than you would expect. But with that said, it's not always 1600 V bucks. I can think of two off the top of my head, Goku, as well as Captain America. They came with pickaxes as well. And those were 2000. But then Goku Black, one of the best anime skins in the game, he came with two pickaxes, and I think he was only 1800 as well. So there's never really a concrete price for someone that comes with a pickaxe. It can be all over the place, from 1600 to 2000 But do I think this is a little too expensive for this? I'm not sure yet because I haven't seen the gameplay. But with that said, the bundle is definitely the better deal because for 2000 you get everything, including the wrap. So I'll be honest, I was super hyped for this skin. Yes, we did get quite a few Olympian gods in the battle pass, and then we got Ares in the Fortnite crew, but we were still missing some of the more popular Olympian gods. And Apollo is one of them. So to hear that he was coming to the item shop, like I said, I was pretty excited. And then I made the mistake of letting other people form an opinion for me. And you should never do that, and that's exactly what I did. I read the comments all over the place about this skin and everyone seems to hate it. And so right now all I can think about are those negative comments and how people hate this skin, it's not worth buying. So it's kind of persuaded me into a negative aspect about this already. But I'm trying not to let that cloud my judgment. We'll see how he plays in game. Now with that said, one of the biggest complaints I saw is that some people are saying he's a reskin. So this is the skin that a lot of people are saying he's based off of. So this is from the Academy Champion set and he is cell shaded with the anime effect. So let's cycle between them. Is this the same skin? I don't know. The haircut is very similar. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Do you think that's the same character model? Obviously it's kind of hard to tell because this one's cell shaded like I said and this one's not. Well, regardless, Apollo is the god of the sun, and that's what his description states as well, the imperious god of the sun. So I do like his color schemes here, the white, the nice blue, and then the gold. And his hair has a flamey effect like the sun, his eyes are lit up like the sun, one of his hands looks like the glow of the sun, and then this one's literally on fire. Now the good news is he comes with everything except for a glider. Could use the high society glider. Ooh, not that style though, that's black and gold. It's this first one. That's white and gold. I think that would match quite nicely. Or even the current victory umbrella matches quite nicely. It's gold and it's white. So this one obviously has a little more gold than the high society glider. Let's see, does he have more white or gold? He definitely has more white color scheme. So I'll try the high society glider. We'll start with that. And like I said, he does come with a wrap, so that's amazing. Okay, here we go. Let's take a look at the glider we picked, the high society. Yeah, that's not bad. I actually like that. It's one of those big poofy gliders as well. So it does take up a lot of room, but it's not too ginormous like some of the dragon gliders. Yeah, I think that flows quite nicely. You can see the underside of Apollo's shoes are gold, but one hand is more of a yellowish color, whereas the back bling and the other hand are the gold. Not too shabby. Okay, so color scheme, like I said, looks incredibly clean. The white mixes with the blue and the gold perfectly. I have absolutely no complaints about that. Let's take a look from the front. So the hair animation and the arm animation aren't that noticeable. Sometimes when they add animation to the hair, it gets a little overabundant and people just don't like it, but this doesn't seem that bad. We'll have to see when we aim down sights. So I actually think the back bling is really cool. So you can see it's got like that circular compass design to it. And in the middle is a swirling, almost like a solar flare. It looks really clean, but it interacts with the pickaxe amazingly. So apparently the pickaxe is in there. Now, one of my complaints about this skin was going to be the pickaxe. So this is the pickaxe right here. And if you saw my item shop review last night, I was just getting a little tired of these. We get so many of these weird handheld pickaxes. Sometimes they form on your arm, but this is one that he actually holds. However, you can see it's nicely animated. It's got 
an amazing glow, but more importantly, like I said, it interacts with the back bling. So check this out. Look at that. So the bottom half of the back bling must be the actual pickaxe. And when you take it away, it makes the back bling light up. So that just redeems the crappy pickaxe into an amazing interactive back bling and pickaxe combo. I think that's awesome. I know we've had interactable pickaxes before, but this is a pretty unique interaction. It literally makes the back bling glow when you take it off. So as much as I hate these type of pickaxes, I think this one flows quite nicely. Look at that. I can't wait to see this in the dark as well. So it's got a pretty typical swing animation, but the contrail is definitely noticeable. You can see little embers flying off when you swing it, and it's got that nice gold yellow effect. The splash is pretty much the same. Nice solar flare effect. So this actually really surprised me. I was not expecting this. All right, let's take a look in the dark. Here we go. Oh yeah, look at the glow on that. Wow. It almost looks cell shaded. That is actually really clean. And there it is when you unleash it. That is really cool. There's the contrail. Almost looks like lightning bugs flying around. Not bad. All right, let's take a look from the front. I'm assuming his eyes are gonna glow. And then of course his hair. Yeah, that looks really cool. So I'm loving what I'm seeing so far. It looks like a little bit of his shoes light up too. He's got some miniature lights around it. So how about the aim down sights? Here we go. Wow, that is actually super clean. You can barely see the animation on his hair. Just a little flame, barely noticeable. And of course his hand is heavily animated as well with that yellowish glow. Now don't forget that the wrap is also reactive. So watch this, when you shoot it, it's got that nice yellow glow as well. I love it, great wrap. Definitely matches the character in full, the blue, the white, the gold. Perfect. Here's the SMG. And a shotgun. I'll show you on the wrap skin as well, but that's a solid wrap. All right, how about in the dark? Let's take a look. So the hair flame is a little more noticeable. Not too much though. And the hand is way more noticeable. Look at the flare though on the wrap. Beautiful. If you have the burn bright emote, it works perfectly. Check this out. God of the sun, pow, look at that, hand on fire, awesome. Okay, let's take the back bling off. Okay, so he's not bad without a back bling either. I know some people hate running back blings. Now, obviously it will take away from the character a little bit because the pickaxe does interact with it. But with that said, if you don't like this pickaxe and you don't run it, he doesn't look too bad without a back bling. Okay, so here's the wrap on the wrap. So you can see that the back bling that Apollo has is literally on the wrap. I didn't even realize that. Yeah, from the wrap perspective right here, you can't even tell what that is, but clearly on the wrap skin, it's his back bling. That's cool. And obviously when you shoot, it's gonna light up. Look at that. And when you swing a pickaxe, it'll do the same. It fades very slowly, I like that. This is why the wrap skins are some of my favorite in the game. That's amazing, look at that. Very clean. But even while hip firing, it's gonna look amazing. And you can see it when you aim down sights just a little bit. That's not bad at all. So the wrap, 10 out of 10 for me. Absolutely beautiful wrap. I bet you could use this on a ton of skins. So if nothing else, I definitely recommend getting this wrap. It's that good. Okay, let's try in a real match here. See if there's any secret reactivity. Here's the pickaxe versus a real player. You can see the nice splash effect. I can't wait to see this skin in the dark in a real match here because sometimes the lighting is different than on my testing map. Take a look at our glider in the dark as well. Perfect. Okay, so here we are in the full nighttime effect. Let's take a look from the front real quick. So after I get an elimination, I'll have to do this emote real quick just to see if his eyes flash. I think there's a bot right up here, like a literal AI, not a real player. There he is right there. Okay, here we go. We'll pickaxe too. Okay, the eyes did not flash that I saw. Fire the gun in the dark so you can see. Yeah, this skin is actually really solid. I think most people that were hating on it probably didn't see gameplay of it because this is actually really solid from what I'm seeing. And I was a huge hater of this pickaxe, but seeing how it reacts to the back bling, insane. So I'm impressed with this skin. I am 
absolutely impressed. He's really clean. And like I said, I think people that were hating on him didn't really give him a chance in game. I really have no complaints. I think he's actually better than some of the Battle Pass skins, to be honest. If he was in the Battle Pass, I bet people would not have complained at all. So there you go. That is my full gameplay and review on Apollo. Like I said, I was pleasantly surprised with this skin. I shouldn't have read all those negative comments and let him persuade me one way or another. After using the skin, seeing the back bling, the pickaxe, and the amazing wrap all together, this is a solid skin, and I actually think it's worth it. So don't let people persuade you one way or another unless you actually see footage in-game. That's the lesson I learned during this video. So is he a little pricey sold separately? Yes, but the wrap is so good, I do recommend either just getting the wrap or buying the bundle with the wrap in it. And in that regard, it's a solid price. 2,000 V-Bucks for everything, it's pretty good. So there you go, let me know in the comments, do you agree with my opinion after seeing the full review? Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, a like is always appreciated, and don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is Tabor Time.